I am joined by my co-chair and longtime St. Vincent RN, Dominique Muldoon, along with other members of our bargaining unit, who, as soon as we are done here, will attempt to deliver our CEO a petition signed by close to 80% of our members, as well as other staff, including physicians, pharmacists, respiratory therapists, and others. The petition makes clear our vehement opposition to the plan by our administration to eliminate our hospital's specially trained and highly skilled intravenous therapy team. We are also here to deliver a very serious and broad message to the public in the communities we serve. As the elimination of our IV team is just the latest assault on the quality and safety of patient care by our CEO in her administration, let me be very clear. As nurses, we have a legal and ethical obligation to serve as advocates at all times for our patients. And as such, we cannot and we will not remain silent about this or any decision Tenant Healthcare makes threatening the safety and dignity of our patients and our community. Good afternoon and thank you, Marlena. I am also a long-term nurse at St. Vincent's Hospital who works on a busy med surge floor and as co-chair of our bargaining unit have been both appalled and alarmed by what I have seen this administration do to our patients and our members since we returned from our strike in January. Since January, we nurses have documented and filed more than 250 unsafe staffing reports constantly informing our administration of our concerns. Our nurses have taken such pride in being St. Vincent nurses and we are disgusted to see what this administration is doing to our community hospital and the patients we serve every day. As I said at the outset, being on the sidewalk again, alerting the public about the dangers inside our hospital is not what we want to be doing. We believe it is the patients and the community served by St. Vincent Hospital that have the most to lose if tenants' behavior continues to go unchecked. For our patients, this is truly a matter of life and death, and we will never let them down without standing up for what is right at all costs. At this time, we will proceed with an attempt to deliver these petitions to our CEO, Carolyn Jackson, and invite the media to join us. Though we suspect you will not be allowed into the building, we also will make ourselves available afterwards to answer any questions you may have. Thanks so much.